All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kenar Vernon Stewart here with the podcast, talking Auburn football. Go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speaks for us, Auburn. Uh, we're going to talk about Auburn's football schedule real quick, you know, as we talk about this thing going into the 2023 uh, season with, I mean, a very interesting schedule, actually. And as a matter of fact, um, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speaks for us, Auburn. Uh, become a member of the channel. And down in deep south, college football is keen on the plains of Auburn, battle cries, war eagle. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, war eagle. All right, so now we talk about, you know, Auburn schedules in the past. And we, you know, we talk about, hey, is this an easy schedule? Uh, Mike G actually talked about it on uh, War Report. A couple of uh, days ago that this is actually the easiest schedule that Auburn has had and he broke down as to why it was so and I I mean I kind of agree actually but I and it's not a but because I think those guys at War Report do an excellent job of covering Auburn football big shout out to my brothers at the uh, War Report but you know we're going to talk about this schedule for Auburn and I think it's the most I I, I wouldn't I, I just I'm not going to disagree but I'm going to say it's the most manageable schedule that Auburn has had in a while you talk about UMass at 330 in Auburn the season opener of uh, UMass has been playing football since 1879 has a record of 577 624 and 50. They've lost more than they won. But this is typically a basketball school. And in my opinion, they won't have much luck on the planes. As a matter of fact, I think this will be a situation where Hugh Freeze will be able to showcase uh, what will be to come for this football season. Now, after that, you got the prime time. And man, look, it can't get no more prime time than this with Auburn versus University of California. The Bears, man, look, it's a 10-30 game. This is going to be the only football that you're going to see at this time of night. On the West Coast, it's going to be prime time. I think this is an excellent opportunity for Auburn to do what they do. Auburn has a lot of, you know, name recognition from, uh, you know, because when you ask somebody about Auburn, what you think about Auburn? Okay, it's Cam Newton. Hey, man, Cam Newton played there. Bo Jackson played there. So there's a lot of name recognition there. So for Auburn to be able to, to have a good outing when, I mean, this is literally the only game that will be played at this time of night. Matter of fact, half of the Auburn fans that are not at the game, they're going to be snoozing around halftime depending on how things go. So I think this, this is a big game for Auburn. Auburn versus California. And then you go to Samford. Sanford is a team that Auburn has played on many occasions. Usually a homecoming situation. Usually, a, you know, hey, a, a, a game that they play, an easy game, you know, to transition into the, to, to a more meaningful opponent, so to speak. In all of the years that they played this game, Auburn versus uh, Sanford, the best that Sanford has been able to come up with against Auburn is a tie. Auburn has pretty much dominated this series, so I, I, I pretty much uh, see a win here. Now, here is one of my favorite teams that Auburn plays. I loved it when they... Transition into the SEC from um, 
the Big 12 Conference, and that is Texas A&M. This has been a really intriguing opponent for Auburn. Usually the away team wins, but Auburn kind of flipped that in 2019, and you know things haven't been the same since. I think this will be the pivotal game of Auburn season if they're going to be successful. I I, I think you got to figure out a way to beat Texas A&M. Then after that, you got UGA that has a transition of you know you you got a brand new offensive coordinator. You have a brand new quarterback, a new system, and UGA actually will come to Auburn this year. I think it's going to be an interesting game. Now, a lot of folks will automatically say that this will be a loss for Auburn, but I don't know because I, I got to figure out in the first couple of weeks what the quarterback situation is going to look like with George, I know I know the defense will be good and we'll move forward. LSU, Auburn actually has LSU, I think probably one of the most upside teams in the conference. And this is going to be a toss-up. I mean, clearly a toss-up. And then you got Mississippi. Um, Ole Miss. That, this is actually a game that I think I'm going to go to. And I think Auburn has a chance to to win this football game. They got Mississippi State. And, you know, you'll be shocked. But Vanderbilt, down the stretch, they, this is one of the most tough games that Auburn plays because they don't play, they don't traditionally play well against um, Vanderbilt. And then you got Arkansas. Um, you have that game down the stretch, and you look at a situation where um, Auburn has this game at home. And I think this is a good opportunity for Auburn to, if they do the things they need to do on the top end of the schedule, this could be a a, a game that. You know, Auburn's looking at a possible uh, huge situation where the Alabama game means a lot more. Now, I, I think that the Alabama game will mean a lot more because, and I'm going to expound on this in another video, I mean, you look at a situation where Auburn has a lot more recruits coming out of Alabama. And you talk about a situation where the Iron Bowl can have a lot more meaningful uh, impact because, hey, these guys have played against each other. These guys in a roundabout way could be related. I think the Iron Bowl, because of Hugh Freeze and the way he's recruited, can have more impact than it's had in many years because – you got so many more guys from Alabama on the Auburn schedule. All right, so let me know what you think about this Auburn schedule. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.